Howdy folks, it's Pixel King, and I'm back for uh, Walking Dead, Episode 1, Part 3. Right where we left off, and let's get to it. I'm supposed to be finding a way into the pharmacy, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. What is this? I can't reach that brick. I can't reach that brick. Can't reach the brick. Go back inside. Is there something else? You can't get up and move around. What's that? Everett, isn't uh, isn't that Lee Everett? What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might. We're have just gonna keep key. things to ourselves for now. I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up. And... Shut up, Doc. Hmm. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. So Lee knows that's his brother and knows he has the keys, probably. So... What else is there to look at here? What is that? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. We need weapons, dude. So... Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Okay, so... What is this brick Can't for? We need brick. to throw the brick. Distract him. Well, you get the brick. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Come on, man. Let's head back inside. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay. What is this? Hmm, Mom and Dad, brother, greeting cards. Why should I look at greeting cards here? No, I'm sorry Is that gonna get me? We just mm. need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. How come the boy? It's not much, but here. What's that? For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's all melted now. Uh, well... Alright, dude. Uh... Hmm. Oh. A door. I didn't see this. I made this circuit around here a couple times. This is music from the TV series, but it's pretty good, pretty moving. There's a photo over there. It's blood. You're gonna slip in the blood, man. That's all you do is slip in blood.
What's that? That is Kane. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Okay, you hear uh, sirens. We gotta clear this what is door this? Door when we find the keys. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. All right, let's do it. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Things are a little scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> hmm. Why it's a weird way to move the desk. Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. My finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Mm -hmm. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. The first thing, yeah. Oh good. Let's go get that. Let me get you all fixed up, girl. What is that? TV. Dad kept the room. Oh, let's see if something's on the TV. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Uh, I don't know if I want to look at that photo. That's kind of... Definitely your brother across the street. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who is sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. 
Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Mm. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No, and I didn't appreciate you saying that in front of the girl. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. <clears throat> That'd be a good idea. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Now I've got explaining to do. Something over here in the room. No, let's go put the bandage on you, sweetie. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Let's get in that door. That zombie out on the street. Okay. We gotta go get the zombie out on the street. It's the remote. Actually, it's TV. The remote. Let's see here. That's what I figured. Hmm. Is there something I can pick up and put in my pocket for later? Yeah, I'm more of like a preparation kind of guy. I wanna wanna head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Have things on me and ready to go. said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back hmm. to the house. I'm not a fan of lying to kids, so we'll, uh, okay, we gotta get that, uh, we gotta get that, uh, that key, and, uh, we, oh, where am I going? Gotta get in that pharmacy, oh, so, well, there's the energy bar, we're gonna need that, let's get that right there. Trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. 
Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I can't go. It's not letting me go that way. I gotta walk all the way around everything. What is that? Radio. Yeah, let's go. How are we doing? Good. You gonna come with me? Have a look around outside. Now. All right. Um, where's the where was that door at? Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? I guess I gotta go through here. Doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Yeah. Okay. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. No man, we're going, dude. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Turn on the uh let's turn on the TVs over there. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a Good life. job, Doug. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Okay, man, we gotta get out of here. So, like, we gotta get that brick. Doug, get that brick. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Hmm. Reach that brick. I want that brick, man. Come on. I got a family photo. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about it unless the keys are out there for sure. All right, dude. That guy over there has the keys. Okay. Can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. The brick. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man. There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Get the brick. Come on, man. Get... Uh. He just text off and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh, friends? Family? They around? Family, but it doesn't seem like it. 
Hmm. Okay, what's that? How do I go? Is there a way to do inventory? What's that thing in my inventory? Oh, it's the... Man... Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? Okay. I'm kind of stumped. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they it didn't seem like anything out here that I can do. I think they're most of who you see. To get out of here. Obviously, we need to get that brick. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Okay. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore's safe enough. I guess I'm going to have to, uh... Um... took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Let's, Let's back go inside. back inside. Okay. Is it possible? Want to go have a look around outside? Not now. All right. No. What the heck am I gonna do? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. What? Where are they going out the back door? Hmm. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a, a couple almost got me and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Are we walking? Guess we're walking. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay. Um Let's cut away right here, and thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back for episode one, part four, in a little while.